Hello and welcome to What the Math. Today we're doing chapter 4 of IB Math Studies and that's linear equations and solving linear equations using technology. So get out your GDCs and let's do this. Alright, so let's start with one more difficult question and that's question 4 on page 99 and this is question I. So this is what it is, 4 divided by 3x plus 2 and 7 divided by 2 minus 5x. So here, uh, let's do this manually first and then I'll show you how to do this on GTC. First step is, step number 1 is, um, find common denominator. So we'll have to basically make that, uh, make this ex these two expressions into a, a common expression that you can then use to calculate uh, or and solve for x. So find common denominator. Let me show you how to do this. Uh, denominator. And to find common den denominator, usually the easiest thing is to basically cross multiply a denominator. So basically, common denominator here is going to be, uh, usually it's the um, lowest possible number that you can divide both numbers by, but here, because we have x, uh, we have to basically cross multiply them. So this is going to be your common denominator, 3x plus 2 times 2 minus 5x, because then if you, if they, if these two numbers have a common denominator, you can actually add 4 and 7 together. Um, right now we can't do anything with this because they have, these are completely different numbers, but if they have a common denominator, uh, then you can actually um, use different operations with them. So what I mean by this is, imagine there's another, let me just give you an example. Imagine there's a number 2 divided by 6, and this equals to 2 divided by 3. Now, right now we can't really do anything with this, but once you find a common denominator, which in this case is 6, you can actually... Uh, start using different uh, um, orders of operations, for, uh, specifically addition and subtraction. So here, what we have to do is we have to turn this into 6. And so to get 6 here, what we have to do is we have to multiply this whole number by 2 and 2. And this will give us 4 over 6. In other words, it's like saying 2 over 6 equals 2. 4 over 6. Now we can actually put this number here and what you'll get is 2, 6 minus 4, 6 and this will give us 2, 6. And that's your final answer. So, But now we have to do the same um, with this more complicated number that has x's in it. And so what we have to do here is we have to take this denominator and then multiply both sides, or sorry, both nominator and denominator on this side by this number. Then we have to take this denominator and do the same on the other side. So what you'll get is, you'll get 4 divided by 3x plus 2 multiplied by 2 minus 5x divided by 2 minus 5x equals to 7 divided by 2 minus 5x, and that's right here multiplied by 3x plus 2 divided by 3x plus 2. Um, and the reason why we have 2 3x plus 2s and 2 2 minus 2 minus 5x's here is because basically this is like multiplying by 1, which we can do. We can always multiply by 1. Um, so let's uh, let's find what this equals to. So the left side is going to be uh, this times this will give us 8 minus 10x, and in denominator you'll have 3x plus 2, 2 minus 5x. And the right side is going to be 7 times 3 is 21, 21x and plus 14, divided by 3x plus 2, oops, that should be blue, uh, 3x plus 2, 2 minus 5x. All right, so it looks a little bit uh, more complicated, but it actually this is a lot easier now because you can actually um, ignore the denominator completely. So now we don't even have to deal with it anymore because we, what we can do is we can basically multiply both sides by the denominator. So if you multiply both sides by this, they will cancel out. So what you'll get now, what you get at the end is... 8 minus 10x equals to 21x plus 14. And so now 
uh, collect your terms and you'll have, let's just put X on this side. It's going to be, uh, oh, and then put this on the other side. So you'll, you'll have eight minus 14 equals to 21 X plus 10 X. This will give us uh, minus six equals to 31 X. And so X equals to minus six. 30 divided by 31 and that's your final answer minus 6 divided by 31 this is the 3 um, so this is how we can do this using uh, manual method and it, it is quite time consuming with longer questions but let's now solve this using your GGC which will actually save us a lot of time and to do this on your GGC what you have to do is you have to go into the Y, uh, y button and basically enter both sides of the equation into two different y's. So y1 is going to be the left side and y2 is going to be the right side. Now here uh, for this particular question brackets are super important. So we'll, uh, let's enter the left side. So this is 4 divided by bracket 3x plus 2. 3x plus 2 and then the right side is going to be 7 divided by brackets 2 minus 5x. 2 minus 5x and this is really it. This is all you have to do. Just be very careful with the brackets. Make sure to put as many brackets as you can just so that you don't make a mistake because the calculator always calculates or uses or, uh, orders of operation from left to right. So unless you put brackets here, what this calculator would do, if you, if you have no brackets here, it will actually think that you're dividing 7 by 2 first and then you're subtracting 5x. So it, it won't actually consider these um, two numbers as a whole. Uh, all right, so let's just click enter. And you can even take a look at uh, this equation. You'll uh, you can um, you can see the graph. You don't really need to, but you can if you're interested in it. This is what it looks like. Now we don't actually care about what the actual shapes are. Ooh, this is a really fancy graph. Uh, we don't really care about the actual shapes. What we care about is we have to go into second calc and click on the intersect. And so here you'll actually your calculator will ask you a few, few questions. The first question is it's going to ask you where is your first curve? Basically, where is your first function? And it shows right here. You can choose between the first and oops, the first and the second. Uh, now uh, this is my first function y1. My second curve, second function is right here y2. And now the third question is going to ask you is it's going to ask you guess. And this is when you have more than one intersect. Now, if you have more than one intersect, you move your cursor closer to your, the intersect that you're interested in, and then you click enter. Here, we only have one, so we can just click enter, and we get the answer, and it's minus 1.463. Right. So this is um, this is in decimals, because um, it's not gonna show it to you in, in fractions, but it, well, we can actually check if this is a correct answer. So minus 1.463. Uh, so we're going to go and try to calculate our previous answer that we had and it was 6 divided by 31 Or sorry, it was minus 6 divided by 31 minus 6 divided by 31 and Let's see what we get and the answer is oh, it's different. It's minus 1.935 now Chances are I actually made a mistake when I was making a uh, making the manual calculation And I think I actually did make a mistake because now that I'm looking for uh, looking back at it I believe I said that 5x times 4 was 10x, but it's actually 20x. So this is not going to be 31, this is actually going to be 41. So if I do 6 divided by 41, I'm going to get the correct answer, which is what we have here. If you go back into the calc and the intersect. So as you can see, this is exactly the right answer. So why is this important? Well. If you have, if you're not really good at manually calculating linear equations, and if you always make mistakes, kind of like me, I always make mistakes as well, uh, it's super, super helpful to double check your work using the GDC because sometimes, uh, even if you show all your work, uh, the actual answer might be worth two points. So it's worth checking, um, checking what, what your actual answer is. And your GDC will usually not make a mistake if you, if you entered everything correctly. And this is a really good example for, um, when I should really check my work. So because the actual answer was not minus 6 divided by 31, it was minus 6 divided by 41. Um, so, and my calculator told me that you made a mistake, maybe double check your work. Hopefully this was helpful, hopefully you will not make mistakes and double check your work um, just so that you don't make mistakes like I just did. And hopefully this was clear on how to use your GDC and now you know how to basically solve any linear equation using your GDC. All right, thank you for watching and good luck, bye bye.